Oh, I saw you on TV. You must make a lot of money, yeah? Oh, you're, you're an actor? Okay, uh, do you make money? What's your actual job? You know, your actual job that earns you money? Pays your bills? Okay, okay, just, just look. Just look at my paycheck and stop asking me. Welcome back, this is Joe. If this is your first time here, welcome. I am a Chinese actress living in Hollywood North, chasing that big dream of getting that Golden Man Oscar. If you are a fellow actor, you've probably had this question thrown at you a couple of times at some point in your career. And if you're not in the industry, how much money an actor earns? Probably a pretty big mystery. Well, today I will break it down for you in detail, this mysterious big secret that is basically posted very publicly on the internet. So here is the rate summary table for different roles as a performer on set. Now bear in mind the specific example that I personally will be using is established in Actors Union in Canada. So there might be a slight difference in terms of the rates compared to other countries. So basically most shows other than independent productions and commercials follow these rate by the union. If you are a part of the union, this is the exact rate that they'll be paying you. If you're not a part of the union, like me, you'll have to pay a permit to be on the set of a union production every single time. So now we must look into the different roles and definitions. For actors starting out, the most common roles that you'll be booking are actor roles, principal actor roles, and recurring roles. You fall under the actor role if you appear in an episode of a show, but you have one line or less, such as a cashier that says, welcome in a scene, and that's it. Your pay rate is currently 495.37 per day with an overtime rate of 92.88 after eight hours on set. Now you fall under the category of a principal actor if you're in an episode of a show and you have more than two to three lines in the entire episode. Your pay rate is currently at 736.05 per day with an overtime rate of 138.02 per hour after eight hours on set. Now your role fall under a recurring role if you appear in more than one episode as a speaking role in the entire show. But your pay rate is the exact same as a principal actor. Sometimes during production, they may even upgrade your role by giving you a little bit more lines or maybe asking you to come back to set the next time for another episode. And when that happens, your pay would adjust accordingly to the new category you fall under. Now there are also other pays that you will get um, by being booked in a production, which includes wardrobe and fitting hours and sometimes ADR, which basically means voiceover work. So when I wrote this script, it is before March 29th, 2020. Uh, so for the video, when you hear me quote the rate, it would be a rate from 2019. And this, what you're looking at, is the actual most updated quote for 2020. Now here is a real life example for my paycheck from Netflix's Woo Assassins. So here you can see my paycheck from Netflix's Woo Assassins, which I filmed back in 2018. And for this particular one is for September 7th on a Friday. You can see here that I've worked a total of 8.7 hours on that day, which means that I get the day payment of $714.61 at that time in 2018 and a overtime of 0.7 hours. The purple underlines the buyout rate and the red underlines the permit that I had to pay to be able to work on set because I am not in union. And you can see underlined in yellow would be my net pay after deductions. Now, now, before you start telling me how amazing it is to earn $90 per hour as an actor, let me just reiterate that acting is seasonal. So if you're wondering why we're still working at restaurants, last year I earned 10 grand in a month by working on set a couple of days and I thought I was finally becoming rich. I thought I was finally able to treat myself with some butcher store level steak, not cheap grocery level steak, but actual butcher shop steak from those European butchers who knows their meat way more than I do. How naive I was. Just because you had a good couple of months does not mean that that will continue. Do not spend it all in one place, please. <sighs> Now, how much do A-lister actors earn on a typical production? Well, that's specifically negotiated between the actor's manager or agent with a production. So there isn't really a standard. For example, when the Game of Thrones first started, the actors were paid a negotiated rate, which 
I can't find it anywhere. But after the show became a huge hit, a pay raise is negotiated each year based on the actor's net worth. So in 2014, these major actors in Game of Thrones landed $300,000 per episode. And in the final two seasons, $500,000 per episode, soda, soda. Huh? Well, now you know how much actors are paid. Is this what you expected? Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video and you want to follow me on my journey as I paddle through the Asian representation wave in Hollywood with my tiny T-Rex arms, just click like and subscribe and that notification button down below. And I post videos on Fridays and I will see you then. Bye. Now, in some cases, I've heard that you may have already reached out to agents, but may have gotten rejected. What would make these same agents want to interview you now compared to before? Is it actors who spent months during the sheltered lockdown refining and honing their skill sets? Or all well, the opposite.